Hey, what's going on, guys? Let's do this problem right here. Here, this question is asking a uh, force of 11 pounds compresses a 13 inch spring by a total of 3 inches. How much work is done in compressing the spring and additional 2 inches? Now, let's see how we can find this one out. So, here they are asking for the work, and whenever we have work in a spring system, we use this equation to calculate that W is equal to integral a to b kx dx right in order to do this one we have to know limits of integration and also the spring constant now let's see whether we have this information and we know this is starting from 3 because first of all they compress this one 3 inches and additional 2 inches it means it's going to go from 3 to 5 now here we, they, they haven't given the k information that is spring constant so we have to find that one but we can use this equation. We can use Hooke's law. According to Hooke's law, force is equal to F is equal to kx, right? F is force is equal to spring constant times stretched length, right? Now force here that's 11 pounds. 11 pounds is equivalent to k. That's we that's what we are trying to find. And x is stretched length that is three inches. This is compressed three inches. So that is that is what we are going to use right here. So this is times 3. Let's avoid this multiplication sign. We can just put 3 like this, right? So this is in inches. Now to find the k, we have to divide the inches other side. That's going to give us k is equal to 11 over 3 foot, I mean pounds over inches. Now this is our spring constant. Now we can use this information to calculate this work. Now let's go ahead and find this one. W is equal to integration. It's starting from 3 because first we have compressed this one 3 inches. Then additional 2 it means 3 to 5 right. And then K is this one 11 over 3. And then X we have to find uh, that's going to be limits of integration after we integrate dx. Let's integrate this one. If we integrate this one, this is going to give us 11 over 3 x square divided by 2 going from 3 to 5. Now let's plug all the values. But before we plug this one, let's combine this together. This is going to give us 11 over 6 going from 3 to 5, right? Now if we x square 3 to 5 and if we plug this one, that's going to give us 11 over 6 5 square minus 11 over 6 3 square and we can also write this one as we can take 11 over 6 common so this is going to be just 25 minus 9 and that is equal to 16 so this is going to be 11 over 6 times 16 and if you calculate this one you should get 20 approximately 29.3 inch pounds and that's going to be the final answer. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.